Hello guys, welcome to the second episode of the series of Quick Admin Panel Diary. I'm really glad that you had some comments on the first issue with some ideas how to improve Quick Admin Panel, so thank you for that. And I will continue this series just sharing my thoughts around Quick Admin Panel and related issues. And today I want to tell you a story, a technical story, what happened last week to us with Laravel, with the lesson what happens if you base your tool on some other tool, on some other framework. So a small change in Laravel framework broke some of our panel functionality. And this is the email from our customer with a screenshot that these texts, for some reason, became different. There should be empty text here because name helper doesn't exist. It's empty in translations file. And the client told that they run composer update and this started happening. So this is the text of the email. After running composer update, all translations with empty values render the key name instead of empty value. So in our code, what we generated was just this help block with translation helper. So we should find translation helper with cruds user fields, which exists in resources lang en cruds and then user fields helper. And by default, we generate all the helper as empty strings. And then we had to put a workaround to generate empty space. But generally it was empty string. And it was working all the time. It was rendering empty text, which means no helper. But people could put the translation in their Lang files and it was working. But all of a sudden there was one small change deployed into Laravel 7. This small change. So now if it's not null or if it's not empty. It's pretty similar, but actually fundamentally different. This was the actual pull request by Ahmed Sayed, and he was working with translations and actually wanted the translation to return key instead of empty string. And Laravel team didn't really see anything bad in it, so they merged it. Graham worked on it, Taylor worked on it, Dries worked on the release, everything went fine. Or so they thought, but it broke something for our quick admin panel and for anyone who were using translations with empty string. And it was just general release 7.28, so nothing major, nothing that would be heavily announced or anything, just one fix inserted in a typical weekly version. But then Brent, a well-known figure in Laravel community, created an issue explaining what does it break, how to reproduce, and then Taylor recognized that it was a wrong thing to merge. Then other user pointed that it affects Laravel 6 and 7 as well, and then they reverted it back. But the release was scheduled to happen in a week because all the releases of Laravel come every Tuesday. So what we could say to our customers like, wait for a Laravel new release. So we had to come up with some kind of workaround and this is exactly what we did. So this is non-empty string and it's kind of a workaround, but it shows actually a space, not empty string anymore, but it solves the issue for our customers that work with our generated code. And the lesson from all of that is if you rely on some platform for your product, whether it's Facebook application or iOS application or Laravel or any other framework, you have to constantly look at the changes they make, at what they can introduce, and in our case Laravel 8, for example, introduces a few breaking things for us. So just a message to you and to myself, be careful about your dependencies. It's actually the same in open source. So if in your project you choose to use some open source project, it may be abandoned, it may be changed, it may release a new version which would be totally incompatible with your project, anything can happen. So choose trusted vendors to work with or work on. And I still trust Laravel as really stable framework, but even in that Laravel, stuff like this happened. Has anything like that happened to you guys in some open source project that would change anything? Shoot your stories in the comments below. Let's discuss, let's share your stories. Maybe I will share them on my Twitter if it's allowed, if you allow me to. And see you guys in the next episode of Quick Admin Panel Diary.